Yesterday, they hit the uh, power station in uh, Mukha. This is uh, one of the big power stations in Yemen. It's a uh, 200 me uh, plus million uh, watt power station. Uh, and uh, the, uh, they hit the residence of the uh, uh, power station staff in, in Mukha. Uh, and over now, according to P uh, the Public Electricity Corporation, I am an employee of the, I used to be an employee of the corporation. According to them, uh, 70 people have died up to now. And it is uh, destined to rise again above the 70 people. And at least over 100 people wounded. Much more, but at least 100. Uh, this is a very, very serious uh, crime, really, by the Saudi regime. And there is absolutely no reason to suggest that this is really helping Yemen or helping illegitimacy in Yemen or helping in any way to restore uh, uh, public order in the country. This is a very, very serious crime. And the Saudis are going to be seriously, uh, I think the world should start telling the Saudis that they must stop this non this uh, sadistic uh, bombing of Yemen. They have destroyed everything in Yemen. There is nothing left. And yet if they keep pounding and pounding and pounding every day. Uh, you know, night and day we sleep to the uh, roar of uh, planes coming and going, missiles being fired in the air, uh, explosions all over the uh, countryside. How can how can the world remain so silent uh, to these serious crimes? Uh, in the Public Electricity Corporation, in two days they are going out on a uh, vigil. Uh, throughout the country demanding that the world pay attention to Yemen for a change. Uh, the, uh, over now, uh, 3,000 people have been killed and something like 4,000 or so wounded. It is impossible that the world is just going to keep watching the Saudis because of their dirty money. It's dirty money. It's not clean money. So how can the world just keep its eyes closed to this... Uh, uh, you know, uh, sadism, really. I call it sadism. It's Wahhabi sadism. In Sana, uh, like I'm telling you, it is, uh, you know, the night and day we hear planes coming and going. The holiday, the Muslim holiday of uh, the end of Ramadan, they didn't pay attention to that. They kept bombing Yemen night and day. This, the province of Sana or the governorate of Sana is completely destroyed by Saudi bombings and missiles. It is a border, it is near the Saudi border. And they have killed, uh, you know, half the population of the uh, province is already, are already refugees. Uh, even in this uh, power station itself, there were people who were refugees living with the, uh, the staff uh, who are working in the uh, power station. It is a real, it is a real serious uh, crime, which the Saudis must be, I repeat, they must be penalized for this by the international community. They have destroyed literally every military outpost, uh, you know, uh, position in Yemen. They have uh, destroyed hospitals. They have to school, children cannot even go to school. Uh, you know, the uh, nutritional situation in the country is very bad because farms cannot, the farmers cannot irrigate their plants. Uh, there is no food, uh, literally, and imported food cannot reach the country because the Saudis are, and their allies are imposing a, a tight blockade on Yemen. So there is really, uh, you know, what can you expect? You, you will be eventually expecting a lot of people dying from hunger, starvation, from lack of medical attention because all the medical facilities have no power to operate. So, you know, this is, this is a very, very serious thing. We don't want the UN to just condemn or uh, 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 Amnesty International to condemn. We want serious action by the international community to stop this Saudi madness, this Saudi Wahhabi madness on, on Yemen.